Well, if it's Tuesday, and, and it is. It actually is. It, it is. is. We're doing the Collector's Attic again. Yes. And uh, today we're following up with a couple of the last shows, which have been kind of personal, personal items. They're still collectibles for us. Right. But they might not be as collectible to someone else. They have a lot of sentimental value. Mm-hmm. And we're doing two models this week. One isn't really a model, uh, sort of is. It's a scratch built right. that your father did of a stagecoach. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a royal carriage that my father built right. in about 1954. Wow. And it was a plastic kit, and here it is. I don't know. I'd love to know the brand. I'd love to know. I'd love to find another one because it's missing pieces. I do have the front axle here. But um, it's missing a lot of different bits and pieces off of it. And uh, it would sure be nice to be able to, to have the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about it. Now, back when, when this was made, uh, they didn't have styrene plastics. They had acetate plastics. And so it's not terribly dimensionally stable. But this one's held up really well, all things considered over the years. It's uh, still looking pretty darn good, even though it's missing some pieces. If anybody out there knows what it is, because I don't, I'd love to find another one. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who made it. I don't know anything about it other than the fact that my father built it in about 1954. Wow. So a really, really early plastic model. Now yours is wood. Yes, this is made out of a, it's a pine wood. Uh, my dad built this whole thing from scratch. And uh, he was a wood carver, and that's what he did. He did, back then it was so basic, he had such basic tools, mostly a pocket knife and a wood carving set. And uh, he made this completely from scratch. It's in several pieces. And he used uh, copper wire to hook the pieces together so that the, the tongue and everything actually turns in it. And the wheels and that turn. That's so neat. And uh, the little drivers and everything on top has luggage on the top of it. But uh, I was probably a very little girl. I just barely remember uh, him making this. In fact, my mom was the one that did the copper wire rails around the top. She helped him with that. But he never did do the horses for it. Mm -hmm. It just, they got that finished and that was as far as it went. Mm -hmm. So it's always just sat on a whatnot shelf my whole life. Well, and we've now got them on a whatnot shelf in the Curio mm -hmm. together because, oddly well, enough, they, look at that. They're, they're about the same, the same. size. <laughs> um, they're in about approximately the same scale. Neither one, I, now I'm assuming that the carriage did have a tongue and horses and the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And all of that's just sort of on the loose and gone. And all I have left <laughs> is the, the carriage itself and the front axle as separate pieces right. and I'd sure like to find missing pieces but I don't really want to cobble it together and try to do anything with it because it's something that my father built and, right. and uh, if it stays like it is for the rest of its life it mm -hmm. stays like it is for the rest of its it life. It has more meaning that way. Sometimes. It has more meaning that mm -hmm. way so uh, either way but I'd sure like to know what it is I'd like to know more about it yeah and so if anybody out there knows anything about that that would be really cool. Yeah. Well, if you, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It sort of helps us out. And if you click your notification bell, you'll get notified when we upload something, which right. is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And the easy way to get over there and to subscribe is to click on the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Ready for it? Zoink! Blue button says subscribe means exactly what it says. Right. <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here again in one week with some more massive screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>